Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with actor, comedian Johnny Harris. How did you get into the business? Uh, well, I think I, I sort of started trying to make people laugh in grade school, probably. I was, uh, I was sort of a restless kid. I'm sure if I was in school today, I, I would be on multiple drugs for ADD or whatever that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I couldn't sit still. I was always trying to crack people up. And then um, at the end of high school, um, my, my grades really started dropping off and whatnot. And uh, I was sort of a problematic kid. And I took a theater arts class because it was said to be an easy couple of credits. And uh, but really thought it was really interesting and neat and, and uh, uh, fell for it. I was actually uh, on the set crew. I was like lugging sandbags on the theater. Um, but, but then on the next year, I auditioned and sort of got into theater that way. And then at the end of high school, my parents were desperate for me to do something. And they said that Memorial University in, in Newfoundland had a fine arts school with a good theater program. and. Uh, Sometimes I joke that my parents were the only parents in history to suggest theater school to their kid. <laughs> but they just wanted me to do something with myself. So I think they were worried about me. So I did, and I really enjoyed it. And then just, yeah, I've been acting ever, ever since. How did growing up on the East Coast help influence your knack for comedy? Well, I think the, uh, like uh, it's sort of like humor is just really integral. I, I almost realized it more when I moved away from Newfoundland that it's just not as pervasive in, in other uh, societies. But back home, yeah, it, it's just part of your rapport all the time with people. I, I think maybe it has to do with, uh, you know, Newfoundland being, uh, it's turned around as of late, but having been a, a poor province or poor nation uh, back in the day. And just so, I think with, with when peers uh, naturally compete with each other, in some societies, they do it with wealth, but if you don't have any wealth, then people would do it through sort of sparring of wits, and, and you know, you, you cut the other guy down with a joke, and, and that's how you, you get your status in, in a, a room full of people, is by being funny. Mm. Maybe that has something to do with it. Do you come from a funny family? Well, actually, I'm a, like a, a first-generation Newfoundland. Well, my mom is from Newfoundland, but, but grew up in Ottawa, but my dad is British. Mm. He came over to teach at the university as a philosophy professor. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of weird growing up. I grew up in a small fishing town in Newfoundland, the son of a philosophy professor. One of my oldest go-to jokes is that uh, <laughs> when me and my buddies got caught smoking, they got grounded. But I had to stay in my room until I could prove I existed. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was sort of weird. Like I was in this little rural Newfoundland town growing up. My dad was this British philosophy professor. People didn't know what philosophy was. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I, uh, but anyway, sort of, I think that weird sort of stir fry of a, of an upbringing certainly lent, lent, lent itself to some comedic fodder. How does it feel to be nominated for a Canadian Screen Award for your work on comedy now? Uh, very flattered. I was amazed to find out because we had, we had actually shot it. It seemed like a long time ago, like almost two years ago that we did it. So I, I didn't think it was still being considered for anything. Uh, but it's nice having had a couple of nominations for Murdoch Mysteries in the dramatic uh, sort of genre. And now to be nominated in a comedic one is uh, a feather in the cap, I think. Mm -hmm. Even though on Murdoch Mysteries, I'm still just playing the ass. I'm, I'm sort of the, the goof character, the comic relief. Mm -hmm. But uh, not everybody knows that. I can still <laughs> pretend I'm an expert in both fields. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about your work on Murdoch Mysteries. How has that experience been for you? It's been life-changing, you know. I um, I came to Toronto to give it the old college try. I had been a stage actor and comedian in, in Newfoundland for many years and uh, you know, figured I should go abroad and, and try my luck. And it really worked out well. I, uh, I had done a series actually in Newfoundland and so I got in with an agent that way and I think that's the reason I got the audition. I also think that because I wasn't established in Toronto as a comedian, helped me get the audition for Murdoch. I think that in the comedy world in Toronto is sort of segregated from the film and TV world. Like I think in the States, stand-up comics or sketch comics are their go-to for funny people on TV. But here, a lot of my stand-up buddies or sketch buddies never get auditions for like legit uh, film and TV. Or, or a lot of times they don't. They do lots of commercial work, but I think if I had been known as a stand-up comic, I don't know if I ever would have got that audition. Mm -hmm. 
And what types of roles do you hope to play in the future? Do you think you'll stay in the comedic type characters, or would you like to venture into something more serious? I don't know. I, I, I just, I just want to work, you know, and, and having the chance to work is, is the ultimate thing. Um, I mean, yes, ultimately, I'd like to try to do a bit of both or, or try to excel at both. I did a film um, a few years ago written and directed by Adriana Maggs, who's a Newfoundland uh, filmmaker, and in that um, uh, film that actually ended up going to Sundance, um, and I played a really sort of, it was, it was sort of a darker piece, and I played a more dramatic role, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a real challenge. It was a really great part. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and all the work you do online? You know, I sh really should have a website, but I don't. I think if you just Google me, uh, Johnny, Har Johnny without an H, J-O-N-N-Y, Harris, and uh, I know there's some stuff on, on YouTube. There's a lot of Murdoch stuff, and a lot of my stand-up stuff is, is out there, and, and there will be a website coming soon, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations on all of your success and your nomination, and best of luck at the awards. Well, thanks very much, Katie. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.